you've been watching me for a while, you've probably wondered, what's going on in his head? I tend to hang out in my head a lot, it's, it's safe in here, I have control. But have you ever seen someone do something so dumb and wondered, what was going on in there? What were they thinking? What did they think was going to happen? Just, why? But what's it like in the mind of someone truly psychotic? Director Tarsim Singh shows us in The Cell. Jennifer Lopez is Catherine Dean, a child psychologist who uses an experimental treatment for comatose patients. They use a device that sends her mind into the mind of a comatose patient so she can talk him out. I guess this works as long as the coma is a non-physical issue. Kind of a dick move, his mind makes her walk 10 miles. But here's the sleepy boy now. By the way, how many Fraggles died for that outfit? But I thought we were going sailing today. Bitch, we in the desert. What's this, a boat for ants? Okie Loke is the boogeyman. This kid is haunted by a boogeyman that's presumably keeping him in here. Edward. I think we've made some real progress here, Timmy. I'll see you next week, same time. Ah, they took our skin! Edward's uh, parents are here. Your son still needs more sessions. By the way, your last check bounced? How much you want to bet insurance does not cover this? But don't worry, we're not here to talk about a little kid's brain the whole time. Vincent D'Onofrio is serial killer Carl Rudolf Starger. Ever notice serial killers always go by their full names? If you can't handle a goldfish, how can we trust you with a girlfriend, Carl? Forget to feed this one too? Looks like Catherine gets off at 420. She works late at home in her underwear. Sure, who doesn't? One more shot for the JLo fans out there. Carl's victims are turned into dolls for his twisted amusement. Did you open the Hellraiser box? He has these piercings all over his back, and he likes to suspend himself from the ceiling while he... What is your major malfunction, pile? At least he kept one arm free. Then he dumps his victims when they no longer want to hang out. On the case is FBI agent Peter Novak, played by Vince Vaughn. Give me a coroner's report right away. Preliminary forensics, too. They say they found some dog hair. The dog is an albino. If you want to be a serial killer, always two steps ahead of the cops, do not have a rare, easily traced dog shedding at your crime scenes. Honestly, does anything good ever happen in deserted parking garages? Oh my god, the dog's an accomplice. Bad doggy. Divorce wasn't kind to him, was it? She got everything. Breeders of German Shepherds? And German Shepherds themselves. Leave no bone unturned. And yes, that same dog leads the feds right to him. Baby, that was money! Tell me that wasn't money! Remember, men, the dog is in on it. Freeze, bitch! Before they can take Carl in, his brain explodes. Literally. He has a seizure triggered by a brain condition. Convenienta encephalitis. Heh, <laughs> nobody wants to cuff the naked guy. Pat him down! You pat him down! This could be the end of the story. Carl's caught, in a coma, and the dog is in handcuffs. There is a girl that is missing. There's one more victim out there, trapped in a glass box, slowly filling with water. Medical science can't get the info from Carl, but maybe medical fantasy can. After a quick trip through a John Woo film, Catherine and her mind meld machine are tapped. What's the worst that can happen? Here's how it works. Not only maps the mind, it sends a signal to another party. A wizard does it. Got it. Hang in there, kiddo. Why am I craving crab all of a sudden? Here's where the acid kicks in, folks. Believe me, it's good stuff. With imagery as subtle as, well, this movie. You're not a human, you don't lie, lie You're an animal. Welcome to Barbie's Nightmare House. Nothing strange here, but that's really bad for the floors. This is Carl's innocence, Kid Carl. His mind is already nightmarish. Look at all these stairs. You're not a tray, you. Hey, you. Your entourage told me not to talk to you. What's wrong? Well, it beats drowning in a swamp. Why would you touch anything in here? 
Is this Carl Starger's mind or Trent Reznor's? Carl seems to have a special place in his mind for his previous victims. Like a scary spank bank. She gets knocked the F out by security, I, I guess how else would you explain this woman? And how does an unconscious person get knocked out even more? Catherine's taken to the boss level. This is King Carl. Wait, 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 sir, sit down! You, you're, you're caught in the drapes again! Shit, we just hung those up! This is the most horrifying thing she's ever seen. Where you come from? She's shaken, but okay. But now they tell us we're playing by the Matrix rules. Well, if she came to believe that Starger's world is real, anything that was done to it there is... There's the rub. With Starger, I felt things I never want to feel again. Catherine's out. That girl is screwed. After these messages, uh, we'll be right back. Pep talk. Let's talk personal trauma because that's what defines these characters. Baby, look at me. Look at me. You're money. And you know what else? You're a big winner tonight. Oh, he's good. Okay, take two. Whoa, that was fast. Cannonball! Right into a glimpse of Carl's abusive upbringing. It's like Christmas at Bing Crosby's. You like it? What's the matter? How many killers were created by their own parents? Think about it. That's him in the corner. That's him in the spotlight. Tarsum directed the Losing My Religion video by R.E.M. Little trivia there. Catherine actually makes contact with a more, hmm, human version of Starger and gathers more insight. You sound like your father. Before she can bill him, his horny side grabs her. That can't be right. Kala make you holla! Now Catherine is trapped in Starger's mind, and science BS keeps them from, you know, just unplugging the thing. Quick, what size meat suit do you wear? Luckily, there are two additional beds, but Catherine has her own dedicated station. That way, there's always room for JLo. Have I made that joke already? Isn't there anyone more qualified? Not the first time Vince Vaughn has woken up on a beach like this. He's so money. <laughs> I entertain my cats the same way. Hello. 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 Okay. Zool. Small mind meeting like this. Where's Pitbull? Now pump, 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 pump it up and back it up like a Tonka truck. You merely adopted the beat. I was born in it. I don't think that's COVID safe, by the way. No, stop. I don't think this thing leaves room for an erection. Catherine's working for the man. This time it's Lady Gaga Carl. Hey, you're not a girl. Oh well, gotta torture something. Like two closely related independent clauses, he's got a semicolon now. The only way out is reminding Catherine of that childhood trauma that luckily they talked about earlier. That forces her to remember who she is. This breaks the hold. Hope you don't mind I shoved your shit back in. Give me one reason not to pop you in the mouth, you little f Novak finds a clue. This is it. This is the key to everything. This will lead to the girl. This was already all over the crime scene they were just at. You could have saved a trip if you took better notes. He's got what he needs, so they split, while Kid Carl gets seized by Uncle Fester Carl. Ew, why am I wet? That symbol is on the machine Carl used to hang himself from. They never considered checking into it to begin with. They went through every doggy database to find this guy, but exotic equipment sales are just too much trouble. Novak runs off to save the girl. Time is running out, the toilet's backed up, and she just had chili. Catherine decides to help Carl since he was a cute kid, and she goes it alone, locking her team out of the process. She goes back into the machine, this time invites him over to her place. Ah, the home court advantage. Just stay out of the room marked Ben Affleck and nobody gets hurt. Ah! Lopan! <laughs> Catherine brings out the big guns, appealing to Carl's religious upbringing. Or would this scare the shit out of him? What's with the border? I, I can do that too, see? 
Pretty. Can I stay here? She makes more progress with his normal side, but his dark passenger is never far behind. Another version of Carl, this time it's drawer handle nipple Carl. Alright. What he trip and fall into a dresser? The Virgin Mary wasn't working out, so now it's Katniss Everdeen. You can't see me! Yes I can! I'm over here! I still see you! <laughs> no, not the handle. Don't pull the handle! Not the handle! Oh! <sighs> Oops, forgot these are one and the same. So... sorry. Novak saves the girl, while Catherine straight up murders Carl. It's for the best. I would never hurt you. Oh, don't feel guilty now. Just don't get a taste for it. Luku got a free dog. I guess he cut a deal. Care to crash a wedding with me later? Back to helping the kid, this time in her mind, where she has more control. So you better play along, kid, or she will fucking murder you. That was The Cell. What starts as a pretty standard procedural relies heavily on the mind visitation gimmick to stand out. Jennifer Lopez and Vince Vaughn's characters are fleshed out, but that doesn't keep them from being somewhat stereotypical. We've all seen the borderline burnout obsessive cop on the trail of a killer. We got all those boxes checked. Again, going into Carl's mind seemed pointless when the clues were right in their faces the entire time. Carl's MO is different. It's a fairly complex ritual. They try to make it make sense with the childhood they present, but it still feels designed to shock. It's still interesting seeing so many facets of him in his mind, ranging from innocent to... not. He's both repulsive, sympathetic, and that complexity makes him more interesting than a typical one-note killer. Once the movie gets into Carl's mind, the visuals are stunning. Weird, fantastical influences range from artistic to horrifying. Every scene is different, the environments shift like they do in dreams, it makes sense, and yet it doesn't, which works for an insane mind. Water is a recurring element. Carl tortures his victims in water. The brain virus is triggered by water. Almost everything is wet. And Carl dies in, you guessed it, water. Has Vincent D'Onofrio ever given a bad performance? I've never seen one. He's terrific in this, showcasing multiple levels of emotional damage, insanity, intensity, represented by equally vivid avatars. I know he's not playing himself as a kid, even he has limits. The serial killer plotline is merely a device to get us into the mind of the killer. Here is where the fun is had, where the scares and the shocks dwell. This is kinda hard to follow with a Criminal Minds episode. The cell is 3Bs. Visuals are unique, awe-inspiring, but sometimes they seem a little weird for the sake of being weird. The procedural elements are nothing noteworthy, and the world outside the human mind is bland by comparison. But I really like the crazy part. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment the bell, you know the usual YouTube stuff. This is the newbie, and I'll see you later, kids. Toodles!